Hey guys, welcome to another episode about R programming. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to do web scrapping with R West. Well, R West is one uh, really easy uh, to learn uh, web scrapping tool and it's also very easy to use. There is not a lot of things to learn. You are basically need to know a few functions and you are ready to go. Uh, so uh, first thing that you would have to do is to install RWest. If you don't have this library installed, uh, go into your R terminal and type uh, install packages RWest. So now I'm going to import that library. RWest. And let me show you one other thing. I have created this uh, really simple web page that we are going to scrap for this example. So basically we have two fields. One field uh, holds uh, one paragraph and another field uh, holds two paragraphs. Uh, so let me show you how that actually looks like. This is what we have in here. So let me show you how we are going to scrap data out of this. Uh, first of all, we have to uh, read uh, HTML uh, data into uh, our R session. We are going to call it document. And we are going to read it with uh, read HTML. And now I'm going to provide a local path. because uh, this is a local uh, document. And later on, I'm going to show you how to uh, scrap actual web page from the internet. Now I'm going to uh, take uh, that uh, paragraph from the uh, left field. With function HTML elements and we are going to provide document and we have to provide something that is called xpath. So now I'm going to teach you how to get this xpath uh, from uh, your page. I'm going to open this uh, page and now I'm going to right click on this left field and I'm going to click on inspect. By the way, I'm using uh, Firefox and in here uh, you have a dissected uh, web page and this is actual paragraph that we would like uh, to scrap so i'm going to right click on it and copy export and now i'm going to paste that value to our argument now, first thing that I would like to do is to uh, read uh, attributes uh, from uh, this element. How to do that? HTML, ATTR, and now I'm going to provide our element and name of attribute we would like to read. There is actually only one attribute in here. And now I would like to take actual uh, value, actual uh, text from this paragraph. HTML text and of course only argument is going to be our element. And now I'm going to run this code. You see, uh, we have uh, data from our uh, style uh, attribute and we have our text, text from our paragraph. Now I'm going to delete this and I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, read uh, multiple elements. Let me show you what I have in mind. Right here on this uh, right field, we actually uh, have uh, two paragraphs and I would like to read both of them. How to do that? Let me show you. I'm going to name this object same like previous time and I'm going to read it with the same function. HTML elements. First argument of course is going to be our document. Second is going to be also xpath and what xpath actually we are going to take now. 
from this second division but keep in mind you don't need uh, expat from uh, individual paragraphs you need expat from uh, this entire field so let me show you how you are going to find that go up until uh, entire region is highlighted now right click and copy expat that way we have expat for entire field and provide that expat to your argument now I'm going to create children with function HTML children and I'm going to provide this element PAR and what I want to do now is to uh, get textual value only from second paragraph from our second field how to do that I'm going to use function HTML text and I'm going to use this uh, children variable but I'm going to take only second element because this is the list of uh, elements and if I run this code you see I have textual value from second paragraph from our second field in order to do web scrapping basically you don't need anything more than this uh, and now I'm going to teach you how to scrap actual web page I'm going to delete this document read HTML and what I want to do now I want to go to web page of a uh, CRAN project and I'm actually going to scrap this web page I'm going to copy uh, this path URL and I'm going to provide that exact same URL uh, to our read HTML so read HTML actually could use local document as HTML source uh, or actual URL and if I print all of this out let's use message you see we have our HTML code but keep in mind uh, not all of uh, HTML pages could be scrapped with uh, R West for example this uh, CRAN uh, web page cannot be done uh, because R West does not support frames let me show you your browser seems uh, not to support frames and now I'm going to teach you another way to download a web page uh, and I'm going to do that with library R curl so if you don't have this library installed please install it and now we are going to uh, use other method I'm going to create curl handle and I'm going to use a function get URL first argument is going to be path to our web page is second it's going to be this curl handle and I'm going to run this code you see once again we have the same result and at the end please let me tell you that uh, these web scrapping techniques uh, are not in most of countries actually illegal but they are not actually legal and it very much depends on what you are actually doing so whenever you deal with web scrapping tread carefully so that's all for this episode if you like this content uh, please subscribe and see ya